Hello, welcome and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine video. Today we're going to continue with the hierarchical instance static mesh stuff. The first video was pretty much five minutes long, so I figured we'd do a second one today and we'd do something different. And what I mean by different is, well, what if we combined a hierarchical instance static mesh and a spline? And so that's what we have here. We have a BP tube now, is what I'm going to call it, because that's kind of what it is. It's going to be a tube or anything really, cable type thing. Uh, I made a simple custom cylinder here. Basically, I just modeled it and I turned it sideways and I put a metal metal material on it and that's that's pretty much it. Just just to uh, showcase what this does. So let's take a look at the actor on the construction script here. It has this is it. <laughs> you have a spline and then you have a hierarchical instance static mesh here. And in order to populate the instance static mesh along a spline, this is how we're gonna do it. Very similar to how we did it before with the boxes for the cube, but instead we're going to go along a spline. So we still have the same thing here. We have a hierarchical instance static mesh. We get the mesh, we get the bounds, box extent, multiply it by two, and then break that vector. But in this case, we're going to go along the x-axis. So we're we want to get everything along the x-axis here. So we're going to grab the spline. We'll get the spline length. We'll divide it by this x. So that's how many uh, chunks basically we have along it. We'll just simply truncate it so we get an integer minus one for the for loop and then as we loop through this for loop we'll multiply this index by this x value because that's basically the distance that we're moving along the spline and then we get the transform at the distance and then we add an instance and that's it that's as simple as that you don't have to use scale uh set this to local don't have to use world space again so now when we see this in action we can see we can just pop this into a world we can see we've got a spline on here and we've got the, I added the mesh, of course, onto the, in the, the hierarchical instance static mesh. So now if we take this spline, and if we move this along, you'll see it automatically populates. And we can use, I believe it's Alt, to add another point, and it'll pull it along. You can add it right there, yep. And if we move this, something like this, you can see now it'll bend and rotate. Of course, it looks a little weird because the... The size of the cylinder is a little off uh, to get it that perfect look. But if it is like a metal cable, I, I don't think it looks that bad. You might need to adjust some of this. I know if you adjust the box extent here to just swap this out, that'll basically move it halfway in. And it kind of gives you a much more smoother effect. And so you can just kind of just uh, use Alt, Move, alt move and it just kind of follows it and it's like a weird little snake thing now so that's what i wanted to show you today in part two i hope you found that helpful i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching